Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to look at a dim sum recipe that goes quite often unnoticed. This is beef short ribs with peppercorn and this is quite an easy recipe to make it right at home. Alright, for this recipe you need about a pound of beef short ribs. Typically in a dim sum restaurant when you serve this, they cut it usually longitudinally along the rib in quarter inch thickness. Now that can be really difficult to find unless you live close to a Korean or Chinese supermarket. Typically you'll find those cuts in, in house. But typically in American supermarkets you'll find it cut the other directional way. But in any case, whether you cut it uh, longitudinally or horizontally, it'll do well for the recipe. If Last thing comes, if you can't, if you really want to get the right cut, ask your local butcher to cut it for you properly. So with this cut, let's go ahead and wash it thoroughly. All right, after washing for a good 10 minutes, you basically want to keep running the water until the water turns transparent. All right, the next step is, is basically tenderizing it. So fill, fill your ribs with a water and add maybe two teaspoons of sodium carbonate now this is basically sodium bicarbonate heated at 300 degrees fahrenheit for an hour now this is a lot more potent than sodium bicarbonate so i highly recommend that you use sodium carbonate for the tenderization process basically we're going to dissolve about uh, two teaspoons of it and let it Tenderize for at least 15 minutes. Once you add your sodium carbonate, just give it a good stir. Now this process will really wash the blood off the meat and help really tenderize the beef when you eat it. All right, we'll check back on you in 15 minutes. All right, after tenderizing for a good 15 minutes in the sodium carbonate, you can see how much the water changed in color. It's a lot more reddish and you can see a lot more fat particle floating around. Because of this, I'll, this is why I like to tenderize it before I start marinating it. So let's go ahead and go over the sink and wash off all this sodium carbonate and pat it dry. All right, the first thing we need is about one clove of garlic or about a teaspoon of garlic. Half teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of sugar. Tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. One teaspoon of soy sauce. One teaspoon of oyster sauce. Half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Grab your trusty chopsticks and give it a good stir. Also for this, we also need about a half a cup to a cup of onions, finely diced as thin as possible. And give it another good mix. All right. We can let this sit in the fridge overnight and let it marinate for, and we'll check back on you in the morning. All right, it's the next morning and our beef has been marinating overnight. So let's add the final ingredients and finish this up. For this, we need about two teaspoons of cornstarch.
about a teaspoon of oil. Let's give it a nice glistening coat. And probably a tablespoon of freshly cracked peppercorn. I'll give it a good final stir and before we toss it into the plates. At this point, you can also top it with additional peppercorn. You can also garnish it with additional green onions. All right, let's go ahead and steam this up. All right, with our steamer ready, let's put in our beef. And let's cook it for a straight 10 to 15 minutes. All right, after cooking for 15 minutes, let's take a look. Wow. So one of the hardest part of this recipe is getting your correct cut for your beef short ribs. They're quite difficult to find in American supermarkets. Yes, you can substitute your uh, pork spare rib tips for this recipe. And this recipe is very similar to your uh, spare rib tips with black bean sauce. So, but the peppercorn gives it a nice unique flavor and taste. Something that the spare rib with black beans don't give. So I highly recommend you try this recipe. So that's it for today. So if you, if you like the information in this video and you found it informative, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, put in the section below. Until next time, Happy cooking and peace out.